how much RAM do you have in your system? 16 gigabytes, maybe just eight, maybe 24, 32, 64, 1 to 8, 256 or whatever, depends on when you're listening to this, how far in future, how many years from 2014. Unfortunately, <laughs> you cannot watch or listen this to this video or podcast from the past with the point of view that uh, of someone who's living in 1998, 2000, 2001, 2003, uh, that person will have a completely different uh, concept of RAM. completely different associations but when we say RAM they will think about megabytes about a small cache of memory that applications can use with extreme care uh, care in the sense that they think twice before moving stuff into the RAM rather than throwing everything in it and keeping it there as the first option for storage. These days, every application and even applications which are considered to be quote-unquote background services are relatively hungry for RAM. Um, when you start up the latest version of Skype, how many megabytes does it use? I think it's close to a hundred. Well, ten years ago, most people didn't have a hundred. Not most, but many didn't have a hundred total. So, what if you Again, it's me with my old computers, but what if you decide to take your old uh, Pentium 4 or even Pentium 2 or an early computer like that, your old uh, Athlon processor-based computer out of the dusty closet or wherever it's stored for years. What if you wish to use it for something actually? What if you wish to install Skype on it? God forbid, what if you wish to install Skype on it, log into Skype and then uh, decide to browse internet at the same time? Well, uh, you won't have enough RAM. Simple as that. Unless, unless, unless you fill that old, poor old system, every slot with the highest capacity chip uh, that you can find. Unless you do that, uh, you won't have enough RAM. Uh, look at today's uh, internet browsers. Each tab you open. It in uh, in. Uh, Often it happens that those tabs that you have open will use more RAM than the entire operating system of 15 years ago, 15, 16 years ago. A single tab. How many tabs do you, do you open when you're using your computer? Many. You're used to having uh, 10, 20 tabs open at the same time. Now try that on that Athlon computer. Not gonna happen. Two Internet Explorers at the same time. Ooh, that's multitasking. That's that's not what that's not what people did 
<laughs> in, back in 2000, 1999. That's not what people did then. But still, there were messaging clients, instant messaging, messaging clients such as Skype. There were internet sites, although the sites themselves were uh, very primitive. But even the more complex sites that we have today, I still don't see how you can have so so much uh, such requirements for memory just to keep those sites open. They most sites these days still don't use huge graphics with the uh, which would take a lot of memory. Uh, rather, it's that today's applications are built in uh, especially web browsers with speed in mind. Uh, browser developers are looking for every possible way to gain some speed advantage uh, over competitors because browser market is very competitive so they are throwing everything into the RAM as much as they can and <laughs> when you decide to install that latest Chrome or Firefox on your old system then you run into a problem and uh, uh, again it's, it may be just me who's having it as an issue but uh, sometimes it just feels like uh, these developers are almost lazy almost lazy in a way because they they they, they know that these new these today's systems even phones mobile phones smartphones have 2 gigs of ram gig of ram uh Samsung Galaxy S5 is coming out this month it will have probably 4 gigs of RAM and uh, developers know that so they are obviously <laughs> looking at uh, realistically at today's computers of all form factors and uh, of course considering uh, the direction in the future that there will be even more RAM and they don't care about older systems, so they they just they are becoming uh, complacent in a way in the use of RAM for some performance gains. Can't really blame them for that. It's just <laughs> it's just unfortunate that. Uh, that uh, you cannot realistically you cannot do with an old computer what you could uh, 10 years ago the interfaces were uglier and simpler uh, everything was slower but at the end of the day the productivity was higher <laughs> in a way, because you could actually run those applications. And today you can't. And what what will happen when actually we run out of this silicon uh, improvements that are happening and we end up not having uh, denser RAM? And we're now we run out of uh, these increases in RAM. Maybe then uh, the developers will be forced to uh, figure out other ways to improve efficiency other than uh, keeping in everything in memory. But <laughs> as far as old retro computers go, we are doomed. <laughs> 